morning guys i am back again here with my 21st fortnight video okay and in this in this video i want to talk about two things the logic behind two things actually which we always talk about and why exactly this need to go down till last person so that the culture don't get spoiled actually right okay now first thing is that i want to talk about is basically many people come and express their willingness to become a full time these days many people call themselves as a full time actually in the business but i want to clarify one thing here okay if you are if you call yourself a full time person actually right the my first question is are you full time by default are you or are you full time by design which means have you planned your exit and become full time properly or just because of some reason either you lost your job or or you resign for some reason and then since you are doing this business uh, without a job and you calling yourself full time right okay the first of all i want to make it very clear that i don't want people to resign left right center and take this business as a full time till the time you're not ready to become a full time actually right okay because these days people generally uh, become full time and they pile on to their uplines and they keep telling that they are full time and you know and then eventually if if they struggle and then they go back to a job it's a deedification of the business right okay okay i left my job in fourth month that does not means everyone need to do the same thing right i left it because of the circumstances because because my role was changed i i was promoted and i was given more responsibilities and which was affecting my business and and i wanted to do business only right but it was not by design actually right i i i want to tell all the people here that okay first of all i don't want you to resign till the time you are not busy for the entire day till the time you don't have a team because most of the people resign and they do nothing for ha- more than more than half day plus actually right? they still start working in the evening after 4 or 5 o'clock and they call themselves full timer actually right? full timer means morning till night you have no time to do anything else that's why exactly you decided to go full time right okay so first of all my thumb rule is if you don't have 30 people who you are supporting as a working up line okay in the same city i don't think you will be you will be busy enough for the whole day right so first take the team to the 30 okay and then try to quit the job okay second thing i don't want you to resign and then struggle for money and 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 struggle to meet two ends because when you're struggling financially your mind will not be at a peace and you'll not be able to see long term stuff and you will start doing maybe a short term things and shortcut in the business which will really spoil the culture of the organization and which will not give you a long term benefit actually right okay so please do not hurry up sit with your working up line sit with your isb up lines and plan your exit actually and don't just don't just call yourself full timer because you lost your job and or or you don't want to do a job even if you don't have that kind of a team and if you're not busy for the whole day right rather i suggest many people who are not busy for the whole day that you should take up something if not for the whole day maybe for the half day right that will not only help you to network outside but also will keep you busy because even if you are financially strong but if you're not busy believe me your mind will get spoiled and you will get attract negativity in your life because you don't have too much of work actually right okay so do not become full time unless you properly plan with your isb upline your senior uplines and then do that actually and some people generally cannot stretch themselves that's why they want to to leave job and and you know and resign even if you're making money in the beginning but if you're not you know busy enough and if you're not you know stretched to to to, uh, to your limits actually right please do not resign right to do, do not call yourself full time all right okay so basically if morning till evening you are in the job in between you are taking out some time making few phone calls evening you are busy till night 12 o'clock then association one or two then sleeping for few hours and if you are if if you are busy like that actually even after leaving a job also right then only you should leave a job right please don't don't try to 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 basically uh, you know shy away from the hard work and because of which which become a full time right 
So that is the first thing which I wanted to talk about. Now, second thing which is related to this also, right? Many people in a desperation, rather than doing the networking, they start hunting and, and when they don't, they don't get a DR in the same city or the small team in the city is not performing very well, rather than doing their own networking and increasing their skills, which I spoke in my last message, they start going to other cities because they know many people over there and they feel if they go there, they will be able to, uh, able to pull the team and, or get some signups and all that, right? Please don't do that. The reason why your team in your existing location is not working is not because those people are not good or people in other town will be rock star, right? Because you've not become a rock star. You actually don't know right now how to take the team to the next level. So if you do the same thing in other city also, same thing will happen because you've not learned it actually, right? So please do not open too many markets left, right, center. And even if, if you know, if you're not planning to go anywhere, but I know you have so many people all across the country and all that. If your working upline is not working there or if you're not able to go there every week, at least for two to three days, for God's sake, do not sign up people left, right, center other than your hot zones. And hot zone means only very, very, very close family members not friends actually right okay not or, or maybe a friend who's like a family member but there are not too many people like that right okay so please do not sign up left right center because these people will sign up and then they will start asking for support which you will not have right second thing if there's an event in that city if there's a if there's a training in that city please do not send even hot zones also unless you have a plan for them unless you know what is a support system after they get switched on how you're going to support how frequently you will go and once in a month i go or once in two months i go please that is that is not the proper plan right the proper plan means every week are you going to be there right okay if it is the same country if it is the other country at least every month at least seven to ten days can you afford to be there right and believe me you know i believed in only one thing that unless you built one market do not go to another market right it never happened with me that if one market was not doing well so i went to another market and that market started doing well no i always started new market when I took the existing market to the auto mode actually, right? When I understood that, okay, now I have my ISBs in the same town, CTCs in the same town, LDCs in the same town, and there's a proper structure of the organization is in place. Then it, that is the time when I started any new market because now I know this baby has grown and now we can afford to give birth to a new baby where we will be required to go every week for at least three to four days, right? So these are the two most important things because if you remember these two things, believe me, you will be able to build a strong organization which will last forever actually, right? And we are always talking about you should build something which lasts forever rather than, you know, you know, just doing small little work somewhere, earn small little money and then after some time you get tired and bored both together actually, right? Okay, so two important things. One, do not open markets left, right and center. Do not sign up people unnecessary in any city where you have no plan to go. Rather than doing that, push yourself, do the natural networking in the existing place where you are so that you not only you get signups, but also you become a networker from heart. It will take some time, but that is what exactly is going to change you as a person and that person that change is anywhere required in a long run even if you have a team or or whether you are searching for drs or even if you have an existing team you need to become a networker actually from heart right so that is one second is do not leave your jobs left left right and center okay do not call yourself full timer if you lost a job look for another job plan your exit properly and then exit properly so that you don't go through a financial crisis unnecessary. I'm, I don't mean to say that you have to be very, very comfortable. Of course, when you leave that time, you have to be on toes. You have to live on edge actually, right? But unplanned exit and then thinking at this business as if it is a lottery and then this will give you sudden money. No, sorry, you are wrong. You have to plan your proper exit. It You have, you know, once 
you learn everything once you go to ls then maybe ldc then maybe you have some team and you have your drs and that is the time exactly you can quit that to be if you have enough work for the whole day actually which can keep you busy and tired for the whole day right so these are the two most important thing which we followed since beginning and i don't know when exactly started getting diluted from last 2 3 years people you know young people coming they are leaving left right center and calling them full time uh, don't do that because this is not exactly you can build a big organization okay you have to follow something which which helped us actually to in building a big organization which is still you know which was built actually to last okay so if you are looking at burj khalifa that means you need to actually first focus on foundation right and these culture actually are nothing but foundations which will help you to sustain and which will take care of the big building or big tower which you are going to build actually right okay so thank you very much you will see me again in my next fortnite video i love you guys